Yeah, that's my stand-in for me. Don't we look alike? Don't hurt her feelings. She's a nice unicorn. So, machine maintenance. We all gotta do it, okay? Little actions prevent big problems later on. So, what I'd like to run through is what I've done. I've got most of this from the manual that CNC Labs provides. They did an awesome write-up, go check it out. I'll put the link down there, okay? So, first thing we wanna check is all of our nuts. You don't wanna lose your nuts. Check your nuts. Check your bolts. Make sure everything's still snug in the way that it should be. Okay, so just walk around, grab your little Allen key, take 30 seconds, check your nuts. Okay? Just like this. A band of white. Oh, okay. Next, the wheels on the side. They have to be properly tensioned, okay? If you cannot roll them with some effort, they're too tight. If you can roll them just by basically pushing your finger across it, they're too loose. So you gotta take the little odd nuts that are on here, just like this video, if you watch this up here, it'll show you that I'm trying to move it with my thumb, can't move it, can't move it, can't move it. Loosen it just ever so loosely. And you're not actually loosening the bolt out of the nut, you're just turning it since that thing is off center, you're turning it so it either lifts it up or pushes it down a little more, okay? Once you see that, now you can see my thumb can easily move. Well, I won't say easily, but I can move the wheel now. Great, awesome, okay, next part. Cleaning your collet and router, okay? If your collet's not clean, you get sawdust in there, or just dust in general, it works on compression. It cannot make a tight fit if there's a bunch of sawdust and everything else in there, which can cause your bit to slip down or slip up, depending on what you're working on. So every time I get to my machine, I check the nuts, I check the wheels, I clean my collar every time, okay? So, cleaning the actual collet. Toothbrush is your friend. Just like video, get up in here. Scrubby, 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 scrubby. Make sure you get down in the little slits and everything else. Clean it all inside of it. Uh, the actual nut that goes on the bottom here, you'll notice that that's, that collects a lot. Um, so, small kid's toothbrush, get it all the way down in there, give it a few twists, knock it a little bit, as I said, video. Alright, so after you've done all that, I also take the toothbrush, I run it up inside of it, just to clean the inside wall, etc., clean off the threads on the outside, and go with a little bit extra, I go ahead and I clean these little gills out that are down here under the bottom, because a lot of stuff and the toothbrush is getting away from me. So, cleaning the collet. Anyway, so with all that done, your machine should be pretty good. You should be able to keep it running and clean for a very, 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 very long time, okay? So don't let dust, loose nuts, and everything be the end of your machine. I almost forgot one thing, important thing. You'll see it in the video up here when I was showing you how to tighten the, or adjust the nuts. You'll see a little bit of black stuff right up here on this uh, bar. Well, that's these bars. It's where the wheels run. And you'll build up this black, I'm assuming it's just a little bit of the rubber coming off. Take you a little microfiber terry cloth rag. I would not suggest anything hard, of course. A little bit of elbow grease. 
yickety, 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 yickety. You know? And yes, you have to make the noises when you're cleaning it too, okay? If you don't make the noises while you're cleaning it, you're not really cleaning it. All right, so just make sure you clean all those off. Also, underneath, it doesn't build up as bad, but you can see I got some off. Now that was a collection of all through the tops right there and under, but you can see you can get some, okay? Um, yeah, so that's all I got for you today, guys. Uh, it's uh, holiday weekend here. Um, I'm going to go back to the grill and get myself a hot dog. Bye! Oh, I forgot to mention. Thank you for all the support. Everything you guys have been doing. Wow. Okay? Some of you have not subscribed. So, if you enjoy what you're seeing, like, comment, subscribe. And I promise I won't do that cheesy mess again. No, I will. I will. Several times. It, evidently, that's just how this works. So, thanks. Later, guys.